when we look at the top stock in the market, Apple, very large weight in the overall market, you know, over 4%. What might surprise some investors is that this is not unprecedented for the largest stock in the U.S. market to have an outsized weight. And in fact, if we look back in time and in the top panel of this chart here, we're looking at the percent of market capitalization on the y-axis here contained or held by the largest stock in the U.S. market year by year. So you can see you've got Apple over here in more recent years. Uh, but as you look back in time, the weight of the largest stock in the U.S. market has been even higher in the past. You know, AT&T, IBM, GM, these companies have taken their turns at the top of the market. And so when we think about this question of should anything change, is this a new normal for one company to be such a large presence in the market? Well, in some ways it's comforting to see that it has been the case in the past. Uh, but I think it is a reminder that things can change in the market, that what is highly innovative today is old news and a few years from now. Uh, but what continues to be a great staple for investors is, is just broad diversification. You know, you don't know what is going to be the next Apple or the next Microsoft. And that's why investors are best served by having a broad diversification where they hold lots of these different types of companies.